ever wanted to be an accountant in a large business such as Microsoft or even Apple whilst earning an estimated annual income of $84,000? Well, it is crucial that you understand the many fundamental aspects of accounting. One of the fundamentals that we'll be focusing on today is the trial balance. So what is a trial balance and how does it help with the corporate entity? A trial balance basically outlines the inflows and outflows of cash within a business and it's one of the most important stages where the financial statements of a business is prepared. The general terminology for this is debits equals credits. Hence, both inflows and outflows are supposed to balance. Now, how does this exactly assist a business with their operations? Creating a trial balance will define whether all transactions have been recorded correctly and whether or not any accounting errors have taken place. This will therefore allow accountants to relook into their T accounts or even trial balance itself for silly mistakes such as recording a debit as a credit. This will therefore ensure that all financial information provided will effectively assist in decision making. So what is the process for creating a trial balance? There are several processes which are taken before the production of a trial balance. These other steps ensure that there are minimal errors. The first process is recording all transactions then recording the information in a journal, T accounts, which are also known as ledgers, and finally the trial balance, which then assists produce financial statements for the business. T accounts are created to visually depict accounts in the general ledger. This process is important to ensure that all information can be easily transferred into the trial balance. If an error is made in your trial balance, this could potentially not balance out. In the T accounts, debits are recorded on the left and credits on the right. You can see in this example the company Seashore Autos. For cash, there is a debit of $500, which also is known as the outflow. Now moving on, this simplified information is then transferred to the trial balance. The trial balance follows a specific layout. On the very top is the company name, trial balance and the time period. When recording the accounts, they follow a specific order. Assets, liability, equity, revenue, expense, and dividends. This ensures that the trial balance is neat and easy to read. In this example, you can see that it balances out, therefore indicating no mistake has been made while transferring all information. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative.